Hello, Silaholics, and welcome to another quick tip video. In this video, as you can see, we're going to focus on the knife tool. If this is your first time here, I do hope that you enjoy the contents of this video and will choose to check out some of my other videos, hit the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release new content. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. As I said, we are going to go over the knife tool in this video and just the basics of it because it can get a little complicated when it comes to cutting complex designs with, uh, with the knife and you wanna kind of get it down to its simplest uh, properties or like ungrouping and um, releasing compound paths and things like that. But that will be for another video. I'm just gonna highlight the basic functionalities of the knife tool in this video. All right, so let's get started. All right, when it comes to the knife tool, you have solid and you have outline. If I were to duplicate this, if I have it on solid and I cut something off, it's going to make it to where it closes off both pieces. And if I wanted to, I can fill them with color. When it comes to the outline, however, we're going to remove the line color on this one. Although sometimes it will fill with color still, but it leaves it open. So we're going to, oh, what am I doing? We're gonna come up here and turn the line color off. We're gonna go to our knife tool. We're gonna go to outline and I'm going to go straight across. Well, what that's gonna do is it's going to separate these and it's not closed off. If I try to fill it with color, it will not let me because as you know, whenever you have open areas, you can't fill with color. It has to be closed. So kind of think of it as um, something that holds water. You know, you open it up, all the water flows out. If it's closed up, it can stay inside. So all of, like all of the color. So that's how you kind of have to think of it when it comes to outline and solid. You do an outline, it's gonna cut it off and it's not going to be um, closed off. This works uh, for a lot of different things. I use it when I'm kind of creating um, pop-up type designs for cards. Uh, make, no, it's a little hard to explain that because it's not really like a true pop-up, but there is a use for this um, when it comes to cutting it as an outline. The other thing that I want you to note when it comes to the knife tool is the size of the cut. So I'm gonna take this back to solid. I'm going to fill this one with color. And I'm going to take my knife tool and go straight through. If you notice, there is a gap right here. The knife tool automatically puts in a gap when it cuts it out. It's not a complete, well, it's not a uh, butt to butt separation. So if you end up trying to put something together that you cut with the knife um, afterwards, it's not gonna quite line up. Now, something like this star, because of the way that it's made, um, I just might be able to get this, I can pull it down far enough to where it will line up. I'm gonna try to do that but it may not work again. That is a very you know, important part. So I can line it up on this side, but guess what? On this side, I can never get that area back and it's never going to truly line back up because that knife tool took away a chunk of it. There is a way to kind of create a butt to butt. I will end up doing that one in a separate video. With your knife tool, you also have other options such as poly, curve, freehand, triangular, sawtooth, uh, square, uh, dovetail, ser uh, serrated one, serrated two, and wave. Most of these are, I think, from triangle on down. You only get those if you have designer edition or above. So they are advanced, um, advanced knives. But when it comes to poly, if you want it to, you know, cut in different shapes, same thing with the curve. Once you get to the end and you are ready to cut, you just double click on it and it will cut for you. We're gonna come back to it and let's check out one of our advanced ones. So you can already see how thick that line is and that's exactly how it's gonna cut. So if I release it, I can't make any other changes to this. 
but with the with having designer edition or above you can deselect auto apply so we're going to uncheck that and we're going to go back to our square we're going to put that there and now i can make that section wider i can make it taller and once i'm ready to cut it i just hit apply and it will cut that out for me Now I'm going to move over to um, this image and kind of show you why I like to, like, when I like to use the knife tool because it kind of creates that gap. I never really use it to separate something to have two halves. Normally, if I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it on something that I just want to cut it off and completely get rid of it. So if I wanted to, let's say, cut around his shirt and you know um kind of get rid of the bottom half i just want the top of the shirt the drop uh, curve will come in handy for this like i said there are ways to do it to where it's butted up against each other and you can keep both parts but i'm going to show you how you can use the draw curve i'm going to leave at um, leave it as auto apply unchecked and i'm going to start to draw out the area that i want to cut And I'm going to double click. Nothing's going to happen. I'm going to double click on it again to bring up my edit points. And I'm going to just go through this really quickly to go through our edit points. And make my cut line exactly where I want it to be. All right. Now that we are there, the other joy of having designer edition or above is I could change the size of this line. So I'm going to click on it. Come on. Well, I'm going to hit view on my keyboard because it keeps going into point edit mode. I'm going to come over here to my line style and see where it says 0.85. I'm going to take that down to 0 0.05. It's going to make it where it's really, really thin. And when I go to hit apply, it's going to give me a thinner line. Now, it still is some separation. Some people like to use this when they're separating because it's a very thin line, but it's still not an exact butt up against the other one. And did it cut all the way through? Um, did I miss something? Oh, I'm glad that happened. <laughs> I completely forgot to do the trace on this first. That was the most important part of this one, which is going to make this one probably a little bit longer than 10 minutes. I'm going to undo. The reason why it did not cut all the way through is because there is an invisible box. Uh, that part is very important when it comes to cutting away things. You have to go all the way through. So I'm going to undo this real quick. All right. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this so I can show you the difference in the two. All right. I will put a box around this just so I can see where the end is. So if I want to kind of have this, I don't want to do a trace. You have to make sure that you're cutting all the way through the box. So I'm going to double click on my cut line again, my knife line, and I'm going to pull it out past the box on this side and past the box on that side. Then I can click on that, go to my knife tool and choose apply. Oh, well, let's select it first. There we go and apply. And now it will move because I've cut through that invisible box. So just because it is transparent, that is very important to note that you have to still do a trace on images like this. So I'm gonna move this off to the side. We're going to go and go select trace area, put our box around it. Because it's black, it should pick right up. And we're going to do a trace and detach. I'm going to remove that invisible box. Put my knife or my cut line right back there. And let's click on it. Go back to our knife tool. Click on it. And, uh-oh, where we go? Oh, 
let's click here, here, and why do you keep going off our knife tool? I'm gonna have to do this again. I am gonna have to redraw it. So we're going to zoom back in, delete, and let's redraw that shape. So curve, and we're gonna go here, this time I'm going to try, nah, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to use my edit points and I'm not going to make my 10 minutes or less, but that's okay. As long as you guys get the understanding of how the tools work, that is my main goal. All right. And now that that's off. We're going to hit apply and guess what? Now it's separated. Even if I were to undo and take that down to what we had it at before, 0 0.05, if I hit apply, it still will separate because the edge is now to the edge of the image. So hopefully this video helped you understand how to utilize the knife tool a little bit better. If you have any other suggestions for quick tip videos, please do not hesitate to leave them as a comment below. Again, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I release new content, and feel free to share this video. That is the greatest form of support that you can show is to let me know that you appreciate the video and you enjoy it enough to share with others. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one.